Today from the Ohio Newsroom, the clinical benefits of dogs in hospitals. Today from the Ohio Newsroom takes you around the state, connecting you to news and neighbors from all over Ohio. I'm Claire Roth. Hospitals around the state offer therapy dog programs to emotionally support patients with serious conditions. Now, a study suggests these dogs can provide clinically significant benefits. The Ohio Newsroom's Jeanette Beebe followed a therapy dog at Akron Children's to see the impact firsthand. You ready? You ready, girl? Turn. Forward. Jeannie Bussey is getting her Bernese Mountain dog, Katerina, ready for a day at Akron Children's Hospital. They're part of a volunteer program called the Doggy Brigade, who visit patients throughout the hospital. First up is a 16-year-old, Melody. <laughs> I know. It's, you can hug her if you like. She loves hugs. They also visit the cancer and blood disorders floor to meet London, who's now 10. Do you like being with the doggies in the hospital? Yeah. Bussy starts talking with London about what the dog loves to eat. Katarina has a favorite treat. Can you guess what it is? It might be something you like to eat. What's one of your favorite foods? Beans. <gasps> beans. Brown beans. Brown beans. Now Indeed. my hair and my eyes are brown. Bussy says she sees this all the time. A child comes to life mm -hmm. when a dog enters the room. Katarina likes McDonald's french fries. I see you have a McDonald's. Do you have McDonald's today? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it's good visiting with you, London. Nice to visit her dog. <laughs> this work may have clinically significant benefits, says Colleen Dell, a professor at the University of Saskatchewan in Canada. She studied 200 people in the ER. Half visited with a the therapy dog for 10 minutes and half didn't. What we found was the people who pet the dog had a clinically significant decrease in the amount of pain that they were feeling, and then also a decrease in their anxiety and depression. The patients at Akron Children's Hospital seem to experience this firsthand, like Emma, who, at just 15 months old, was a little shy at first. But then she started opening up, clumsily petting the dog. Emma. Do you like the puppy? So. Yeah. 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 There's a shortage of dogs like Katerina. Before the pandemic, the doggy brigade at Akron Children's had about 100 dogs who could visit patients. Now there's only about a third of that. And while some training is required, it's not like being a seeing eye dog. Nearly anyone could train their pet to do this. Bussy hopes they do. It's such a blessing to be able to do this kind of work, to come in and bring your dog and watch how your dog interacts with other people and makes a difference in children's lives. For the Ohio Newsroom, I'm Jeanette Beebe.